We made it. We're live at 11.05. I'm BC with Spirit Cars. Josh, the voice of Spirit Cars, is behind the camera there. And uh, we missed you yesterday. Did you miss us? I had a project going on, and uh, I just I just didn't want to be disturbed. I've been threatening to build my own little shop inside the shop here and give me some signs. Top secret, danger, danger, do not enter, beware, do not disturb, but we're back for today and say you want a tea bucket. What in the world is a tea bucket? I wish no one was still around. He was a good friend of ours. And, um, but anyway, I just, what's a tea bucket? I guess and you take a tea, Model T Ford, all apart, and you leave just the bucket, and we make a hot rod out of it and call that a tea bucket. I mean, there's a lot of different history that says how we got to where we're at, but here we are. Spirit Cars, we kind of started doing that. We've done a lot of things and built a lot of rods over the years and um, metal bodies and all different kind of cars. We do a complete line of Model A's and 32 and 34 and a lot of other stuff, but it's kind of our bread and butter, a tea bucket. It's a fiberglass body. This is our version of a 23 Model T. And if you do want a tea bucket, they're a lot of fun. Uh, it's got the same feel, the same emotion as driving a Harley. I mean, except you got four wheels and it don't tip over so easy, and when your wife don't want to ride with you anymore because you're kind of old, she'll at least get in a seat next to you, and if it's in the back of your mind, if you haven't crashed yet, or, you know, that's always the thought, this is a good move from the Harley to, to that, or if you just want the wind in your face and have a good time and get out with friends, it's a good car to have, it's an easy project to build, you can build it with your kid or with some friends, your wife. We've had a lot of people just like to build it if you want something to do in the evening instead of watching the boob tube and all the great news we got going on in the world. You can go out in the garage and it's a, it's a pretty simple car. It can be accomplished in your garage with basic simple tools. But you have to first decide what it is that you want. There is no two tea buckets exactly the same. There's so many different options. I'm just going to kind of go through some of what Spirit has and by no means this is your only only choices, but we uh, we have enough choices to get you confused, so we'll just start here. This is our extended version. We've had it for a few years now. You can kind of see it. it's a little wider here and a little bit there and there, but if you stand back in proportion, it doesn't look like it's been widened. It doesn't look like it's bigger. It doesn't look different. You can see this one here is a standard T, and when I say standard T, that's our spirit standard T. It's like a lot of them that have been out for years. A little bit shorter, so I would say if you're, what do you think, five foot eight or so, or under that, you might want this one. If you're five foot nine or so, you might want to go with the extended. It gives you more lay room. This one here has an insert in it. I mean, it depends how much work you want to do. Our dash. This is a 32 style dash. We call it. It kind of looks like a 32. A 32 insert fits in it. This one has working doors. This car comes like this. What do you want to do for upholstery, interior? When you put our insert into it, we also have an interior package. This is fiberglass. It's an exact opposite of that. We've got holes cut in it for your seat belts. Just drops in. Pretty simple. You can put panels in here to have your interior done. Some old school. You've seen them rolled around the top. You can upholster it like that. Now the, the extended can have this one only has one door, but you can get this door as working as well. We have an extended right here. Oh, yeah, right here. We have a working door on this side. We have a working door on this side. Two working doors. This one has a bed. I threw this out. I don't know. Do we even offer this? We we have, yes. Tried to. Is it is it on the website at all? Do we even have a price? We have it on Facebook. I know, I know we built this a couple times for people that want to turn key cars. So what we do is we put a trailer hitch on the back of the car and have a hitch come out of here and it just plugs in like a receiver. So you can have like a double bed or you can take it out. And uh, in a tea bucket, generally, your bed's going to be covered with uh, or filled with the gas tank. Oh, I didn't bring a cover. We have a cover that goes over that. You can make it one piece, you can make it upholstered, you can paint it. There's lots of options there. This one doesn't have a bed.
You can get it without a bed. I've seen them, we've done them with keggers in the back. Have it come up, get it chopped to the ground, kind of an old school Z the frame even a little bit, get it way down. We have a little bit longer bed. So if you like a look of a longer bed, we also have a turtle deck. So if you want a turtle deck look, just mold down to it and go down to the car like that. You can see on our on our bodies, and again everything is kind of reference to spirit, but this is a body without an insert. It comes like this. If you want to have a different kind of seat arrangement, you can put different seats in here. You could put bomber seats in here. Um, a lot of options. Here's the insert that goes into that. And the kit we offer that insert. It just drops into the car. Bonds in right here on this seat. Bonds on that, and you can see on the other ones how it fits together. If you look at the bottom of the spirit car, you can see the floor is finished. We've got a little bit of a trans tunnel here, which is you don't need a whole lot. The car is already channeled three inches, so it fits over the frame. All sorts of all sorts of parts jumping around. And once you get to the to the front, we can show them on this car right here. How's that sound? There's no one grill shell that you have to have. This is our 34 version. The back side of this is a 23. You can see it's a 23. So if you had a 23 radiator on there. Maybe you like the old traditional look of the 23, but then you change your mind, all you'd have to do, you can put the 34 style on it, but it fits in the back of a 23. We've got these little wings on it here, which will cover your radiator, and, and on the frame, there's a the cross member there, and it, it comes down around the cross member. Maybe you like a track nose. Here's a track nose. A lot of time we have several different versions of this. I think we have three different versions of this. But on a stock 23 frame for Spirit, we use parallel rails or 26 and a half inches OD. Um, we're on a, a traditional track nose. It's pinched in the front and it will come to this. So what we've done on this one also, we put these wings on the side of it. So you can use it on your standard frame and it does look like it belongs there. It doesn't look like the frame rails are sticking out. So then it gets a Oh, an old Jaguar grill, or you could put different types of grills in it. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller in the back, so you're going to have to use a, a deeper radiator, more cores in the radiator. The 32, the ever popular 32, this one is a, a cut down 32 grill shell. It's probably been cut down about four inches, so that it works on the 23. When you install it on the car, it cuts down into it a little bit. This one here, Put it right. So now you're looking at the right side up version of a 32 grill shell. We have it with and without the lip for a hood. If you look on our body, it has a lip for a hood. And I didn't bring any hoods out. We have different versions of a hood. We have a cowl hood. We have several different hoods. So you can run a hood on your T. You can run it without a hood. Pick your grill shell fenders. We have fenders. I brought these out, and Sean was, oh no, you're not going to make me do a fender. We have a spindle mount front fender, and what we do is we make a bracket that goes on the wheel, so when the wheel turns, the fender will go with the wheel. We got a couple different versions of fenders, too. A lot of people run pretty wide back tires. This would be a fender that could go in the back. A top. We have a cloth top. This is our fiberglass version of a cloth top. The way the ribs are, it looks like there's a bow there. But this is fiberglass. It can be upholstered inside and out. It sits on the car. It's easily removed. 
here you can see it just fits in the back it screws in here sits between the seat and the back of the body easy to put on easy to remove so if you like that open feel but you don't like the wind necessarily in your face that's a good way to go lots of options I don't know how many pictures when we started doing this back in 93 I think it was for some reason tea buckets had gone out of favor you could look in a hot rod magazine and barely find one and and uh, it was almost like the fad was over but the fad was far from over because it's not a fad this is a this is a pure hot rod it's pure fun they don't weigh very much they're probably right around 2,000 pounds so your power to weight ratio is so low you don't need to have a super high performance motor to have all the power you're ever going to use they're fun cars they've always been fun cars they're still fun cars and they're going to continue to be fun cars and people will will enjoy them for years and years to come a good quality tea bucket is still going to be a good quality tea bucket in five years ten years twenty years I don't see this ever going away but so we were part of and actually on our original website uh, I don't know how many people even know what BBS is but it stands for bulletin board service we had a a bulletin board service on the original spirit website in 1994 and from that we we kind of gathered around a lot of us bucket heads we call it I remember coining the phrase I wish I could find that post but uh, start calling ourselves bucket heads and uh, we were founders of an organization called uh, uh, I believe it was the National T it's the NTBA and there's a I don't remember if it was the National Tea Buck Alliance or National Tea Bucket Association whichever was the first and it's grown and it's it's expanded so there's there's national organizations there's a bunch of different tea bucket groups around there's there's uh, I I can think of probably at least eight or ten different annual tea bucket gatherings around the country so there's, it's not quite uh, the size of a, a Harley Davidson rallies by any stretch but there's a lot of great guys out there in the hobby and there's a lot of places you can go to just hang out with people with uh, the same likes so the point of that is you can go on the internet now and find not just dozens but hundreds of videos of tea buckets you can find thousands and thousands of pictures of tea buckets um, there are several companies that specialize in I don't know I would say specialized but handle a complete line of tea buckets it's something that we we've engineered and you can want to buy a kit you want to buy a couple pieces you want to buy a turnkey car um, we can help you through that process and there's other companies that can do the same thing they're just a lot of fun they're just I mean everybody needs one in the garage at least to play with once in a while that's kind of my opinion so and, and that's not just the 23 or the 27 that I'm building for myself. So we, we offer a complete line of 27s. But here's just some of our 23s. We got a 23 C cap right there. Um, can we do this, Josh? This, probably in the first time in the company's history, I believe everything you see here is inventory. Yes. Not the C cap. The C cap is sold, plus I know I got some purchase orders for one or two more of those so that's not inventory can we give a 10 percent discount on this stuff yeah this stuff only now we're not making a special <clears throat> nope. for the month we're not so if, if somebody wants a this is an extended 23 even the seat i pulled this seat out of the parts room even the seat is inventory so if you want a 23 extended with one door here's one in inventory if you want a 23, that's 23 extended with two doors. There's one in inventory. And this is a regular 23 with a floor. It's in inventory. We got this, I'm going to say four foot box. It's a little shorter than four foot. I think it's 36 inches. 36 in inventory. It's We got to insert, not the top. We got several tops that we, we got to build. So we can do that. If you call and you happen to see this video, uh, before it gets too old and we still have these uh, they probably won't be around for too long but need to reference video reference video when ordering okay and that was official because that was the voice of spirit cars speaking behind the camera there and you'll probably talk to Josh when you when you call in so 
Anyway, think about it. We talked about frames the other day and how many choices and options you have in a frame. And same thing when it comes to the body. You've got a lot of choices. You've got a lot of options. There's no one way to do it. There's no one right way. I mean, there are some wrong ways that you want to stay away from, but that's part of it. Make it individual. Make it your car. Uh, make it fun. So, and what makes it fun is having the parts show up, having the pieces go together, and, and having a relationship with other people while you're doing it. So, for today, we're going to just go with the Coffee Break Contemplations. A friend of mine, the Hot Rod Man, Ernie Gilcrease, wrote these books. So I've just been reading the uh, it's, these are quotes by Ernie. They're not Proverbs, but they're quotes by Ernie. So, Remind yourself daily of the purpose, of your purpose. Why am I here on this earth? What makes me happy? What can I contribute to this world? Then answer with actions. So, if you think a tea bucket is going to make you happy, <laughs> don't do it for, for pride or don't do it for foolish reasons, but you can have a lot of fun building one of these, or you can have a lot of fun just having one and driving it. Then answer with some actions. Give Josh their call, and we can give 10% discount on these. So there's my infomercial today. I hope I was helpful in some ways, but uh, think about what you want to build, and, and look at what other people have done, and you don't have to copy them exactly, but you can take their ideas and, and grow from there. So thanks for being with us today.